Work, folks, to watch play Dragon Quest IX, Sentinels of the Starry Skies. In the last episode, the White Knight kicked our ass, but uh, that's because I was way too underleveled. Let's put it this way. The level you're sort of supposed to be at is about... Well, the wiki says around level 13 should do it. I was level 9, and the rest of my team were level 5. So now I've leveled them up, as you can see. Level 11 and 3 level 10s at the moment. Let's check out their equipment. Uh, first up is me. Got myself rapier, scale shield, and uh, chain mail, along with all my ordinary stuff. Uh, X has got scale shield, scale armor, rapier, along with all his other stuff, and of course the leading gloves as well. Uh, we have Marissa with rapier and chain mail, and some leather gauntlets. And last but not least, we have Jade with a divine dagger, leather hat, leather dress, scale shield, leather gauntlets, etc. Alright, so the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to unequip the linen gloves. And I'm going to give them to... Okay, you take the gauntlets, X. And Marissa, you will take the gloves. This may lower the defense of Marissa, but Marissa is pretty much one of my best units, I'd say. She's very good. Very good at what she does, she is. Okay, so. Now let's move on to... Well, there's, there's our attributes right there, just in case you want to see them. There you go. And well, at the moment, here's my move set. Um, Mastrath has got heal, crack, and evacuate, or evac. Uh, heal is, of course, your basic healing move. Crack is a basic ice move, and evac pretty much is escape in previous games. You just leave like a cave or some of that. They're quite good. Uh, X has got no spells learned at the moment. Uh, Marissa has got squelch, which is an antidote, and heal, of course, basic heal. And last but not least, the Mage Jade has Frizz, a basic fire attack, Accelerattle, which increases speed, uh, Crack, obviously we all know, Sap lowers defense, and Evac. So, nice combination overall there from these people. That's not it either. One more thing I'd like to show you. Uh, I've got some more skill points! As you can see, six on each. So let's give first to Mastrath. See what we want to give him. We want to give him more in shield skill. Actually, I want to start using sword skills as well. All right, we'll get two in, uh, three in shield, and three in sword. There you go. This now means that we've learnt dragon slash, which means it's super effective against dragon types. The chance of blocking successfully with a shield increases as well. So we get swordsman. So we get the swordsman arcade. And the Grade 2 Shield Proficiency. Awesome. Alright, now moving on to X. Uh, more Shield for X. So he's going to get more blocking chance as well. That's good. Uh, next up is Marissa. Marissa can't use a shield. But she can use her Acquisitiveness. So let's put an extra... Let's put 4 in Acquisitiveness. And two in claw, because I'd like for her to be a claw unit, pretty much. She learns half inch. Half inch is a good move, it's pretty much the thieving move. And the higher deafness you have, the more chance you get of thieving from your opponent. Last up is Jade. Uh, I'm gonna go shield. I'm gonna go shield, why not? There you go, so now her chance of blocking has increased. There you go, those are the skill points. Oh, by the way. I've put these tactics on my people as well. X is shown a mercy, uh, which pretty much means he's just going to go straight for the attack since he's got no other moves. Marissa's fight wisely because she's got healing. Actually, no, I'm going to alter Marissa's to just. Actually, no, I'm, I'm, I might as well do my own characters for the moment. Uh, at least for now. I'll probably put him back to normal when, when I'm, for example, training up and stuff like that because you don't need it. Really, you don't need all this. Ooh! More Kagulant. Lovely. Now, if you go down here, I wonder if there are going to be any here. Hmm. I'm looking for a certain set of items, but I don't think we've got any, I'm afraid. They are very important. They are called Fisty Cups. And they are very good for uh, alchemy later. But I can't find any. Oh, well, never mind. Alright, let's go back to Lockstorn and beat the White Knights. 
We have been embarrassed by the White Knight, and now he will pay. There's a Winkster. Thank you, run away. This proves we're too strong for you, Winkster. Yes. So, my team with three rapiers in hand. And an amazing Divine Dagger, which zaps zombies. That is what the Divine Dagger does, by the way. Its little ability is if it hits, it will. it's uh, good, very good against zombies. Which, the White Knight is part of the zombie class, which is brilliant. There he is. It's revenge, White Knight! I told you, I have no business with you. Where is the princess? Release the princess. Release my beautiful print. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've heard it already. Yeah, yeah, your eyes. I hate you. Right. White Knight. Let's kick his ass this time. Alright. Here's a little, uh, here's a little technique you can do. Do not use ice attacks. If you're going to use any form of magic attack, go fire if you've got it by now. Ooh, half inch. I'm going to go half inch, see what we get. Half inch doesn't cost any uh, MP to use, which is brilliant. And I'm going to go sap. Sap to lower his defense. So then my da then I do more damage. Half inch him! Damn it. Sometimes it doesn't work, there's bolt cutter. Ooh, blocked with my shield. Take that. Then I attack for 18 damage. The white knight overall has just under 300 health, so at the moment we're doing quite good to him at the moment. Half inch. And I'm gonna go sap again. Sap will up. Oh. Didn't work. Never mind. Ah, oh, come on. There's multi thrust. We've well defended this round, so that shouldn't do that much. Attack. Now, X attack. Oh, whoops. Right, half inch. Let's let's try and get him. Come on. Damn it. Come on. Thieve from him. Ah, oh, here goes multi thrust again. I said we're very powerful at this point, so there's no way he can beat us now. And here comes X! Ooh, a lot of damage. Alright. I want to get an item from him, so I want to use half inch. There's Jada with a shot there. Damn it. Come on. There's Bolt Cutter again. Ooh! Nothing. Attack! Attack! Alright, I think we've pretty much nearly got him, so I'm going to start defending with all my units, apart from Marissa, who is going to keep trying to nab something off him. Because that's what I want. Ah, he's got heal. That's actually a good thing, because now I can just go for, the, go for the hit on him now. I can start going on the offensive. I hated being on the defensive anyway. Attack! Ah, White Knight dodged it. And he dodged that. Wait, he isn't carrying anything. I thought he was carrying something. There's an attack. And then X goes for a shot, and we've already taken out your healing, pretty much. I'm gonna try one more time, actually. Did I see it right? Ah. Alright, he hasn't- he's not carrying anything. Okay, then we might as well just go for the kill, then, mustn't we? Die! Die! And you're dead! You're not carrying anything, so you're no use to me! And the White Knight is defeated! Gained a lot of experience for that, and 200 gold coins, and... We get a pair of iron gauntlets! Iron gauntlets? That's brilliant, that is. That's great. You are down, White Knight. I don't understand. Why would the princess send you in her place? Why has my beloved Mona forsaken me? Does our promise no longer mean anything to her? Mona? Who the bloody hell's Mona? Any idea what he's on about, Master? Who's this Mona? The prince in Stornaray's called Simona, right? Not Mona. That knight's got a nail loose, if you ask me. Is... is that really true? Yikes! How can you see me? You gave me a right flapping shock there. And then she runs away into my head. You have to tell me. Is the girl in the castle really not Princess Mona? She's not, I'm afraid. Oh, woe is me. She wasn't even my princess after all. Now you mention it, she wasn't wearing the royal necklace from Brigadoon. I was in a very dark sleep. Then the earthquake happened and I woke in this strange land feeling as if I had been released from some kind of prison. I completely lost my memory so much that I don't even remember who, who I was anymore. Then I saw that princess and it brought, back all, brought it all back to me. Memories of Mona and I. I, 
remember that I am the White Knight. And I remember that Mona is the princess of my homeland of Brigadoon. Princess Mona and I have sworn undying love for each other. And we were to be wed. So we went and confused Princess Simona for Princess Mona? Blimey! Blimey! They must have been the spinning image of each other. Hmm. I must do the honourable thing. I must return to the castle and apologise for my mistake. Yeah, are you sure you want to do that, buddy? Uh-oh. I'd try to talk him out of that if I were you, Master Ath. It'll probably just make things worse. Make things worse? Yes. I fear you may be correct. Then perhaps you could take a message on my behalf. Tell him I won't go near the place again. I'm sure the real Princess Mona will be waiting for me back at Brigadoon. All I'll have to do now is find my way home. And there he goes! So! He didn't know what the hell he was doing. Big surprise. So, the White Knight! Is he a good- is he a bad guy after all? I don't think so. Also, I didn't mean to get into this fight, but I might as well get into this fight and kill things. With my team! Die! Die! And you're dead. So we've pretty much got the best items available at this point. Um, and we're not that overleveled. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call us overleveled at all. Probably we could, could have beat the White Knight with me at level 11 and then, or me at level 10 and my, the rest of my team at level 9. But the real issue was the fact that I was going in there with a bunch of level 5 wimps, which is not good. So now, now we're looking better. Hey, run. Jeez, you were trying to go for me. Why? You know I'm way better than you. So why would you bother? Never mind. Let's go to Stormway and see if we can get into the castle. Because you actually can't go into the castle at night. Little thing I'd like to mention. You go into the castle during the if you go to the castle during the night time, the guards are there and they'll stop you. Ooh, by the way, I might as well do this while I'm here. Break that pot. There's someone there. Um, hmm. I want to show you guys a certain little thing you can do, something called quests. Um, and I believe there's one over here, if I remember correctly. Ah, I told you, there is. There's a lot of this stuff. And money! And a medicinal herb. Nice. Okay, there's nothing over here. All right, never mind. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, if we go down this well here. Yes! There's a quest here. The earthquake created a kind kind of crevice, and I can see something on the other side that looks a bit like a room. It's a bit too narrow to get through, though. Hmm, I don't suppose you could bring me a slime drop, could you? My name's Hamish, by the way. All right. The best thing is, we've already got a slime drop because I got it from uh, beating so many up, uh, beating up so many bubble slimes. They drop it as an, an actual dropping item. You can access your quest list from the battle records menu. Yep. So pretty much you can do quests and get certain items, or whatever. So hey, that's a slime drop. Yep. You can have the slime drop. Thanks ever so much. Have this for your trouble. We're gonna see the strength for it. Great. Now then. If I rub myself all over with this, ugh, it's ever so cold and slimy. There we go. Now I should be able to just slime my way through, just as you like. Let's see how he does. Here goes. Ugh, it's no good. It's too narrow. Or am I too wide? Ugh. Either way, I'm not going to make it through. No, what am I saying? Come on, pull yourself together, man. Here it goes. Ugh. Bother. No good, eh? I see, I see. So a slime drop's not going to cut it. Hmm. Looks like it's looks like it's back to the drawing board. Yay! Curious crevice has been done. Has been transgressed with fitness. Clear. Whoop. Oh well. So yeah, th those those are cool things you can do. That little quest you can get really good items doing that as well. So uh, if you can do the quests, it's always good to do them. You can get really good items, or even better other stuff. Let's break these. Nothing in them. Never mind. Alright, now let's... I just wanted to show you guys the quests. I'm not going to do many, only the ones that matter to me. Uh, but I'm going to go back to Stormway Castle. Yay! Mother, father, I've decided to... 
I've decided I'm going to answer the knight's demands. Oh no, Simona, please. There's nothing to be crying over, you silly beeson, beeson, beeson. I'll never allow her to go. Ah. That'll be the death of me, these two. Hey, hello. I look awesome now. Ah, it's Mastrath. I've been waiting on the edge of my throne for you to come back. Hurry, closer now. No! No, no, no. I already did that already. Go on. I will tell you everything I know. It's good to see you back with us, Mastrath. So tell me, what news is there of the White Knight? I tell everything. Ah, so you're telling me that he just lost his memory and mistook my Simona for his fiancée? And he told you he's going off to find Brigadoom now so he won't be bothering us here again? And you believed him? Sounds like a hammer, a hammer haddy to me. That bleathering skite. Skite? Can't be trusted. Father, why'd you have to have such a low opinion of him? What has he ever done to you? Try to take you, that's about it, really. Hmm. I've never even heard of Brigadoom, for one thing. That proves he must be lying. Well, no, because you probably never heard of my hometown either, but you think that I'm lying about that. I think it is in two completely different dimensions, but sod it, you've never heard of it, so it can't be true. Just proves how that's false. Here's the situation, Mastrath. I'm sure that that miscreant will, will, be back for will be back here before long after my Simona again. So until you put a stop to him once, and for all, you can forget about trying to collect any reward. Ah, oh, you bastard. Why do you refuse to believe his story, father? If he's really all on his own miles away from home, it must be terrible for him. Oh, lassie, I'm doing all this to protect you, you know. Do try to understand. And she runs off again. Simona! You morons! Simona, I don't understand what's going into her. Why is she all in a fizz like that? I don't bloody know. Oh! Mastrath! Yeah, what is it? There's something I need to talk to you about. I don't want anyone to overhear. My room's through that door and to the east. Could we talk there? It's about Brigadoom. Okay. She wants us to go to a room that's very sort of. Well, just hope the king doesn't notice. Anyway, so now we're here and it's to the left, wasn't it? Was it to the left? I sure hope so, I'm gonna make a complete idiot out of myself. More money! Lovely. And it wasn't to the left, it was to the right. Darn it. Yep, it was to the right. This should be Simone's room. It is! Or Simone's room. Sorry to ask you to come here like this. Father would just try to interfere if you overheard. You see, I've actually heard of Brigadoom. Ah, good thing someone has. I remember from a nursery rhyme of the maids used to sing to me when I was a wee girl. Maybe that song could give us a clue as to how we could reach, how we could help to fix all this. The maid's gone back to live in Zir now. It's a tiny village that just to the west of Loch Storn. The White Knight isn't the evil character that my father thinks he is. I just know it. He needs help, Mastrath. Please do whatever you can. Well, I'll try. So, guys, you have another objective. We gotta go to a place called Zir. Interesting. Once we go to Zir, we should be able to find some people who can uh, tell us more about this Brigadoon place. Also, Zir is a new town, which means maybe new items, etc. Yay. Check some actually. Nope, that is a night event, so I'll have to wait till night time to get that. I'm not going to say what event I was looking for because, well, that would spoil things, wouldn't it? And it's quite a cool, quite a funny event as well. It's a random event. Uh, how are we looking for health? Oh, we're looking good actually. I think we can make it as if we just use the heal all, which basically just heals us with someone. So, for example, with Marissa. There you go, and we are all healed. Anyway guys, that's it from this part. Um, I'm gonna go for a break here, and I'll see you back in the next part. Let's play Dragon Quest IX, Sentinels of the Starry Skies. I'll see you then.